At a House Oversight Committee hearing on Tuesday, Representative Jerry Connolly spoke about Republican legislation on the Biden family's potential conflicts of interest. The Virginia Democrat condemned the resolution, saying that it was an attempt by Republicans to, quote, smear, insinuate, distract, damage, and destroy, and that this time it was Hunter Biden. Representative Connolly excoriated Republicans for not investigating any members of the Trump family, but now trying to investigate the president's son. Mr. Connolly is now recognized. I thank the chairwoman. Well, here we go again, and it's a playbook. Unfortunately, those of us who are in this committee are all too familiar with. And I think I call it SMID. Smear, insinuate, distract, damage, and try to destroy. We saw it with the Benghazi tragedy. We saw it with Eric Holder. We saw it with John Koskinen at IRS. We saw it with Lois Lerner. And now we want to do it to Hunter Biden. And all of it, of course, with this enormous elephant in the room, which is what happened to investigations about Donald Trump? My friend, Mr. Lynch, pointed out Republicans blocks when they were in the majority and Donald Trump was in his first two years in office as president. The Republicans blocked over 60 subpoena requests. They didn't want to investigate anything. Now, I don't know that there's any kind of objective observer who would actually say there was nothing to see in the Trump years. It was not a fertile ground for any kind of investigation. Whether it was the Trump Hotel, whether it was emoluments and conflicts of interest, whether it was how they handled security clearances or security material, as Mr. Lynch points out, nothing. We want to talk about connecting dots. Was there a connection between the president's son-in-law and his policy in Saudi Arabia overlooking the role of the Crown Prince, MBS, in the murder of my constituent, Jamal Khashoggi, in the most horrific fashion at the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, where he was not only killed, he was dismembered. And the president said relationship was too important. And after the president left office, his son-in-law gets a multi-billion dollar loan from the Saudis. Is there a connection? Want to look at it? Let's have an investigation. No. Uh, would, no. Would the gentleman yield to a question? I, I, I will in a minute. This is their playbook. And it's designed to distract us from the genuine, troubling, violent, filled developments that have occurred on the Trump watch. We had an insurrection here in the Capitol. People died, and lots more would have if the mob had gotten its way, a mob incited by the President of the United States, for which he was impeached again. We are in the process here with this resolution making a decision about will we be distracted by something that most certainly does not have public attention, as Ms. Fox just indicated. So let's deal with the real things. Let's deal with the fight for democracy. Let's deal with the deliberate undermining by some of democratic institutions, the ability of people to vote, the ability of votes to be counted, the very legitimacy of recognizing the results of an election, even if they are adverse to our interests. Those are fundamental issues this country has to deal with. And those are fundamental issues some people, apparently, want to make sure we don't talk about. So let's manufacture an issue in the hopes it will work. It will distract the media and it will distract the public so that we aren't dealing with those ugly, fundamental issues that arose during the very troubling four years of the Trump presidency that culminated in a violent insurrection in this very place. So I don't support this resolution because I, don't, I will not be party to that deliberate attempt at distraction. 
and I will not countenance another playbook chapter of smear, insinuate, distract, damage, and destroy. I yield back.